So in here, we're going to see how to log in because now we actually have a user here and let's see how we can go about logging in. Now I must mention that there's, um, there's documentation for authentication here, which you can go through on the Laravel site just to see how to do things if you want to add, because they do have, um, let's go down here, these starter kits here. These starter kits include a, um, a user interface. So they include some HTML, which comes with uh, Laravel there. So you can test that, never used it before. So uh, it would be fun to see what that has. I like doing things my own way. So that's why I'm doing it like this. So now what we would do is let's go to the signup.blade. I just want to copy everything here because it's similar to the login page. And then I will go to the login. Um, where is the login.blade? I'll paste there. And the only thing I'll remove is the user part here, the user input, because we need our email we need our password here. But let's change this type to password so that we don't see the password. And then let's change this to login. Of course, we'll change that there and that to login as well. Okay, pretty good. So let me come back here to the login page and refresh. So login and then we have email and password. Good, now let's go to the controller and see what we can do there. So this is the login controller. So this is where we will be logging in from. So let's create one more function. So I'm going to duplicate this function. And here I'm going to call this one the login function. This is the function we're going to use when we send a post request. So of course, just as usual, I will get the request, put it here and set the variable to request like so. Okay, so logging in here, uh, first of all, what we need to do is let's still go through the process of, um, let me go back to the sign up controller, this process of validation. So let me copy that and copy. Let me go to the login controller and paste there, like so. Because we still need to validate this except for the name. So we will still need the email required, password required. But then this is valid information here. So we can use that valid information over here. Now we're not even going to return this here. We're going to do something else instead. Now. I'll explain a little bit better. Let's go to web.php and just make sure we have the correct uh, stuff here. So that is all good. That is good. Okay, so the controllers are set. And don't forget that name there. That's very important. And yeah, that's about it. So let's go back to the login blade.php. Okay, so now if you visit the Laravel uh, page authentication help here, it's going to show you how to do the manual authentication. So the part I'm looking for is this one here, where you attempt an oath here, and then you redirect back to the intended location here. So I'm just going to copy this, this whole part here, copy that. And then let me come back here and paste it in the login controller, just to reduce typing. So let's go through this and see what's going on here. I will move this there, move this back. Now, of course, credentials we're going to replace with valid here. So I'm just going to put that in here, like so. Good. And then request is Rick for us. So let's remove that and that's okay. So let me explain what's going on here. So what's happening is we are validating the data here. 
And then again, we're using the authentication uh, facade here. So we have to make sure that it exists here. So I'm going to duplicate this and then go down to uh, support like that. And then facades, make sure the S is there. And then let's put off like that. Okay, great. Now, in this case, there's no need to hash the password like we did in the sign up because it's going to do that automatically. It will hash the password before comparing uh, the two. That is one in the database and one we have given. So here, if you notice, we are not reading from the database at all. We are not doing any read from the database because once you use this oath class, it's going to assume that you are using the user class and the user class is connected to the user's table. So it's going to use that class in order to uh, do its thing. So it's going to retrieve the information there. And this part here, the attempt here, returns true or false. So if the attempt is correct, it's going to return true, which means this part will only run if the user is authenticated properly. Now, the reason we're not doing the normal redirect here to a specific page is because if the user was trying to find a specific page, let's say the user was going to see the list of customers and then they were asked to log in. So it's going to save that URL, which they were trying to visit. And then once they are done, instead of us redirecting them to a specific place, we're going to tell it to redirect to the intended page which is the page that the user was intending to visit before being asked to log in. So I think this is a better way of doing things. And then this here is going to return you back with errors if things didn't work well. This is back to the, uh, back to the login page. And this is the error you're going to get. The provided credentials do not match our records. Now, the only reason we have email here is because we want to show this um, error on the below the email uh, login page there on the we'll, we'll, um, you can change this to any anything that you want but we're going to pretend that this is an error on the email part because it makes more sense uh, so in action so let's see that in action shall we so let me save this and let's give it a run. So the first time we're just loading the index page, we are not doing anything. And then when we try to post, this is what happens. Okay, so great. So let's go to the login page. So I want to try and go to the dashboard here. And of course I'll be redirected to the login page, great. Now on the login page, I want to try and log in with any value. Please enter a valid email. Okay, email at email.com. And then let's put a wrong password here, login. Okay, so the provided credentials do not match our records. This is where you get this error. So you can do your styling as you wish. But let me put an email here and a real password this time. And if everything goes well, I'll be redirected to the dashboard because that's the intended page. So log in and this is the dashboard. So we are back to the dashboard and we are now uh, logged in, which is awesome. So it's as simple as that to log in, you can feel free to read the documentation here. At least now you have some idea of what's going on here. It'll be easier to read the documentation. All right, so in the next video, I want us to look at how to log out a user because now we are logged in, but the user obviously needs to log out.